UPS driver we talked to today was inside the morning meeting when his coworker opened fire. He spoke to our Susie Steimel about the heartbreaking loss of his colleagues and the chaotic escape. Susie? Well, Veronica, Sean Coach is one of dozens of drivers who has yet to return to work here at UPS since Wednesday's tragic shooting. He was close friends with all three of the victims and told me about how he watched Jimmy Lamb fire those shots before he took off to hide and save his own life. Um, the biggest thing I deal with is, and which I sp I've spoken with people about, is it running over in my head. The, the, the whole scene, running it over in my head constantly. Two days ago, Sean Coach watched as three of his coworkers and friends were gunned down before his eyes. He was right in the center, as always, in UPS's morning meeting when Jimmy Lamb started firing shots. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw one of the drivers move forward quickly. I turned to look, and it was Jimmy uh, with the outstretched hand and what looked to be, to be a, a, a gun. Sean then jumped into one of the nearby trucks to hide and call 911. While on the phone, he and Jimmy locked eyes. A supervisor ran back into the building saying, run, run. And I looked around and then I saw the silhouette of Jimmy returning into the building, which what I later found out was after he had shot Mike. Sean says he knew, liked, and respected Benson Louie and Wayne Chan. Cannot speak enough of how awesome they were. And not just because they've passed, because they're good guys. As for Michael Lafitte, he was a really close guy to me. Um, and I think it's hard to lose all of them, but Mike was really hard to, to deal with for me personally. He knew Jimmy too. I spoke to him Tuesday night after work. We joked, we laughed. And we went home. He says there were no visible signs, which makes all of this even more confusing and painful. You, you don't understand like how that could happen or why those people. We've heard complaints about tough hours and a challenging culture at UPS over the past few days. Sean echoes that, saying it's a good job, but a stressful one. I hope that if work was a uh, mitigating circumstance to Jimmy, and that partially what caused this, that it's something that we can all see that, that we need to change. Coach says he's also dealing with a good amount of survivor's guilt, wondering if there's anything else he could have done. He says his wife and two daughters are helping with that. He plans to return to work here on Monday. Veronica. All right, Susie Steinmel, we appreciate the report. Thank you.